Hey guys, it's Google again with another ROM review, and this time I've got Dirty Unicorns version 12 release candidate for the OnePlus 3. So, stay tuned for that. So, guys. Dirty Unicorn. It's a great story about Dirty Unicorn. They were an amazing ROM and uh, they still continue to be a great alternative to all the ROMs available in XDA and for some reason and uh, there are reasons for it, they're not really on XDA developers so they do get a little bit washed off at the hands of other developers who are on XDA which is the most popular option out, out there. And it's been kind of in the back burner for quite some time, but not entirely forgotten as you would see from the huge horde of fans for this ROM. And it's rightfully so, it's a great alternative, or it's a great ROM for daily driver. But let's get started now. First of all, in the settings menu, as you can see in the about front page. Now, first of all, before that, you won't be seeing the VLT icon up there, but I can assure you that VLT is working. I have been taking a few calls with that, uh, it's been working out really well, so you don't need to worry about that. System options you can see in the about phone page, it is 8.1, so that is the latest version of Android, and January 5 security patches are out there. DU version is RCV 12.0, this is the 21st, uh, 28th, 1st, 2018 version, so that is the latest version available right now. Uh, the kernel is a slightly modified version of the 318.92 version. Um, and the build number is this one. SMS service is enforcing and this is the second ROM which I've seen other than Omni ROM. So this is the first ROM other than Omni ROM which I've seen with SMS service as enforcing which is great for those people who want a little bit more security and if you don't know what SMS service enforcing and permissive is, go search that out and uh, you will find a good read out there so that's pretty cool this, and this is really nice to see in terms of features dirty unicorn aokp based and it should have a lot of features but the base has been changed from time to time for the most part it is a very very feature rich rom let's just start with the features now first of all in the dirty sweep dirty tweak settings is where you can find all the extra settings now if you remember correctly i did recently do the atomic os 2.1 review and i believe this uh the, the atomic os or this one one of the other is kind of similar to the other so that's something to keep in mind but it does have its own unique style to it in the system options uh, you will find the device extras you can enable the um, haptic feedback and the screen of gestures so that does work out really well extras like uh, haptic feedback can be enabled alert slider can be enabled and customized from here so that does work out really well sadly enough there is no v for ca the flashlight mod in the uh, screen of gesture section which is kind of sad I normally use that. That is the one which I use the most out of any, but uh, it's sort of to be found here. Miscellaneous options you do have options for the con headset connection. You can enable, disable all of these options, or you can also have you can also customize the system theme. You have dark, light, and uh, automatic. No, no bl black option, but that is something which is uh, available in other ROMs. Screen of animation is available. So default one is just fading. There is CRT animation, which is uh, this one, which does work out really well, and it reminds me of the old Silent Mode 7 ROMs. Uh, also, scale option is also available. That does work out really well, also, which is pretty cool to have. Power button flashlight can also be customized from here. You have power menu options. You can enable all of these. That is also pretty nice to have. In the lock screen option, you have fingerprint preference, so you can have vibration for fingerprint authentication. Tossing up items can also be customized, so you do have a few options there. In the status bar option, carrier label can be enabled or disabled for lock screen or, on, or any other, and also a custom carrier label can be set. Icon manager is available where you can customize all of these stuff, so that does work out really well. Notification manager, it does have notification sound and vibration if screen is on, you can enable or disable, so that is pretty cool. If no media is playing, is what is really really cool, which is pretty nice to have. Quick settings can be customized and it does have only one option, not the most feature uh, more intensive. Uh, quick setting tile panel so you can enable brightness and an auto brightness icon so that does work out really well and these are all the options which you can set for it not the most comprehensive but still something which is available so that's pretty cool graphic indicators can be enabled and the threshold can be set for that swiping right away you have button customization and with the being dirty unicorns it comes with the ui style button customizations it doesn't have volume control uh volume key control for 
keyboard cursor that's something which i would have liked but uh, other options are available backlight options are available you can customize that button backlight on touch is available uh, back and home back home and overview button can be customized to any of the options which is available in the ui works out really well this is which is probably the most customizable option out there navbar is available which is the again the ui with smart bar and fling settings so you can customize that works out really well in the multitasker option you have heads up display heads up display does not have snooze and uh, timeout function which you can customize which is a bummer but heads up display can be disabled if you do not need if you do not need that recent option you can have clear all button which is pretty cool to have ticker options are available one thing which i did notice is that ticker option and the heads up display cannot be enabled simultaneously you have to disable heads up display to have ticker option available and enabled so that's something which is uh, available and something which you have to keep in mind now in the three hour menu you can look at the theme or the team which is responsible for building this which is a nice touch i guess that is it in the extra stuff in the display option you do have a few options you do have nightlight option you have auto rotate screen uh, you do have uh, ambient display options you can customize all of these options and uh, works out really well ambient music tracker that is something which i have been seeing in a lot of options here and uh, it's pretty cool everything else is basically what you would expect out of any other oreo based rom uh, nothing special out of that so it does it, it's just normal stuff in the system gesture option you can enable jump to camera by double tapping the power button which is something which i personally use a lot and uh, yeah it is it that is it in the features section as i've already said it's a good mix of features but not as much as some of the other roms out there uh, some of the other roms like nitrogen os which is great feature rich rom liquid remix even has a little bit more features out there so uh, that's something there but this one does have some unique stuff like the, the screen of game animation like these things just make it a little bit more um, unique so yeah i'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10 for the features now comes the battery life the battery life is in my opinion one of the strong points of this rom i'm not really sure okay this one is only showing about five hours of my screen on time or uh, battery tracking but Believe me when I say that it's really really good. The battle life was really good at least in the idle drain department. Overnight the idle drain was about 0.78 which is 0.8 and uh, in, throughout the day when my phone was idling I got about 0.8 to 0.9% which is always and always below 1% and that is amazing. I have not seen that in any other audio ROM as of now and that makes it a very very good battle life giving ROM. Active drain, it's not as flashy though. Um, so my active drain was about 16 to 17 percentage, which is really higher than normal. I, I, I would accept anything below 15 percent as of now, so that's something there. But I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 for battle, which is pretty cool. Now, the performance of the ROM. The energy benchmark score, which I got as an average, was about 148,677. This is the uh, score which I got the last and uh, it's it's always on the 144,000, 145,000 ballpark. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 because it is on the higher echelon of uh, scores which I've received in this. Now the stability of the ROM. So stability of the ROM is a pretty rock solid. Now I did not have any reboot issues. I did not have any permission issues and I did not have magic super super permission issues either which is really good uh, that is one of the uh, things which i have been noticing with a lot of audio roms even though i have an f2fs rom uh, f2fs file system uh, this one is not causing any issues with that so that is really cool to see and uh, that's something which i'm really appreciating i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for stability now the camera the camera option i mean though the icon may suggest otherwise is the basic camera which is available with uh, the normal basic audio so no other specializations available you can customize a lot of things with it uh advanced option you have manual exposure that's the only thing which is available it takes decent photographs it takes okay photographs uh the quality and all that is uh i mean the same as it has been for a long time so there is no changes in that Nothing special, I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for camera. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. The aesthetics of the ROM is pretty cool. As you can see all the icons are customized. You can see camera, uh, clock icon is all a little bit more uh, flashy I would say. And there are a few options available for this ROM to have uh, a little bit more um, look to it. 
so that's pretty cool in the mission is something you can have a uh, dark mode or light mode as i've seen as you can see i'm enabled dark mode right now it's light mode and uh that's uh pretty much it that's the only thing which is available in this one there is no color options even so that is a bummer and uh, i i feel that's a step in the back direction and also the substratum is the root option which is not the most ideal option in my opinion it's, it doesn't have the latest comments in there so as you can see it requires root for it so it's not the full implementation we're going to get a 6 out of 10 because it is a little bit higher or it's a little bit better than normal but uh, not, not there with other ones. Now the overall experience and the overall experience has been pretty good for me. I have been using this for about one day uh, because I didn't really have a lot of time with it and uh, for the days which I have used it, it's not the most feature rich ROM, it's not the most camera friendly ROM or aesthetically it's not really pleasing either. But the battery life is amazing, the performance is top notch and I'm really happy with the ROM how it turned out to be and uh, this is a release candidate and uh, the fact that there are no ROMs or there are no issues with the stability of the ROM is pretty amazing, I'm really happy about that and uh, I'm really really hoping forward to a official release anytime soon. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for overall experience. Let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty nice. So the boot animation may come out as a surprise for many because it's not really a uh, dirty unicorn boot animation. So there you have it, that is the boot animation which again is not the official boot animation, this is a release candidate and uh, you might have to uh, wait for some time to, to get the RC boot animation out there so that's something there. So yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM then. The final score is coming out is coming down as 6.9747932 which is 67.0 uh, which is the final score for this ROM. This is a great ROM and uh, it has tied up with Nitrogen OS which was the highest score or your ROM available but only by that much it's because Nitrogen OS got about 7.04 and uh, this one is 6.97. Although 7 in the end uh, I think Nitrogen is still a little bit better in terms of everything else so that's something which i really really like so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found useful see you guys next time bye